It's been a while since I shared an astro vlog. The main reason that I started this YouTube channel to share my adventures under the stars, to share some tips and tricks and knowledge about astrophotography, and to try and inspire as many people as possible to get out and enjoy the stars. I'm currently in Antalya in Turkey and I'm about to meet two friends, one of which is going to climb on the inside of a cave whilst I go inside the cave and take photos looking out towards the starlit sky. So not an opportunity you get every day, so I'm super excited. Also a little bit nervous because I know it's going to be a very difficult shot to pull off with the dark interior of the cave, the bright head torch and then the starry backdrop. But hopefully we can pull it off. I'm super excited and if you're excited make sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe and I'll see you after this intro. Yeah, so well it is not such a big cave, but actually if you stand in the back of it, it has a really cool outlook, I think. You can have. You can check. So the first cave was super wide, like that was not fitting in a single exposure, not even with a 14mm lens. But we took a quick look, the left side looked better for climbing. Unfortunately, Orion was just appearing from behind the left edge of the cave, so sometimes you're just guided by the stars. And as Lucas took a more detailed look at his climb, he had a bit of a revelation. Actually, I should have brought the guide, shouldn't I? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's okay. I'll try some test shots. Yeah. So we can kind of see what we're working with. That would be nice with Orion. Yeah, like standing here looks really cool. Huh? Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, just tell me wherever you want me to go, I can yeah. figure it out. And you need to sort of be comfortable enough to stay still as yeah. well. Yeah, we can find the spot. Yeah, you can throw this. <laughs> so Lucas is just climbing up a 6A plus for anybody who knows climbing. 8A plus route for anybody who knows climbing. And we're just gonna do some test shots and see how the shot looks and see what we need to do. It's a super wide scene, so it's definitely gonna be a panorama. Just need to work out the exposure bracketing and focus ducking. Oh, it's already oh. looking pretty good from there. <laughs> yeah, really? Just, yeah. Okay, coming down. So once Lucas had found an epic and comfortable position, I began firing off some test shots to work out what I needed to do. And I was shooting with the Sony A7S II and the Sony 14mm f1.8 G Master lens. And even still, it was going to be a three-shot panorama. And to make sure I had nice, sharp stars and detail on the inside of the cave, I was going to focus stack each frame of the panorama. So each frame of the panorama is made up of images focused at multiple different positions. And if you'd like to see a tutorial on focus stacking, let me know in the comments down below. And then hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the opportunity of the disappointment of my empty promises. <laughs> But I'll sh I'm sure I'll make it one day. Once Lucas was down, I could show them the test shots. And then we thought we'd Oh! And then we just had to wait for Orion to be in a better position. And now Orion's in a really nice position in the sky. And I'm going to use the Starglow filter on Orion, make Orion pop out nice, and uh, get working on this panorama.
Coming for cave number two. The second cave was looking like the perfect frame for an image. Orion was moving right into the center of the outlook. But is there any position that you can rest or? <laughs> this one? You know that, no, no, the under frame guy was trying. Oh, this one? Yeah. yeah. Was it so tricky? No. No, no. <laughs> It is, but yeah. I can just jump. I, just know, I, I mean, the last one you climbed was an 8A plus, so this, this can be easy. <laughs> what, like here? Yeah. Oh. That would literally be perfect. Okay, yeah, I can do. <laughs> yeah, wherever you, honestly, man, wherever you want. We can do, why not? So this one's going to be another three shot Vertorama. The bottom shot again is going to be a focus stack with Edda in the foreground B laying. Fortunately, there's no lights in the foreground, so I don't have to worry about exposure stacking and doing shorter exposures for the lights. Then I'm going to pan up, focus stack again, and have you get to rest. Um, have Lucas climbing in the middle frame uh, in a really nice spot, and Orion has now got into the perfect position, like right in the middle of the cave. And then I'm going to pan up and do a shot that's sort of looking up at the roof of the cave to get that full frame in. Fingers crossed it comes out good. Once I'd bagged all the shots that I needed, it was time for Lucas to dismount the wall gracefully. <laughs> and then I could show them the images again. That one. That one. Oh, oh, yeah. That one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Super oh, that is sick, yeah. So that's the... That's oh, the, yeah, this oh, position, that's yeah. It is power pose. Yeah. <laughs> power pose. <laughs> outstretched <laughs> leg. Oh, that Splitting one. Splitting B-layer. That's more dynamic, like isn't it, one, yeah. Yeah, and then more yeah. rope out. And then up to that. I was super happy with how this image turned out and everything just lined up perfect with Orion right in the center. And huge thanks to Lucas and Edda for this amazing opportunity to just do something completely different. It was so much fun. So we made our way back down to camp, huge smiles on our faces and uh, feeling pumped to make some more astro vlogs. So if you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, I wish you good luck and clear skies. Thank you.